So I've got this Kenwood, and I've been trying to figure out what's wrong with it. It works. The meter <clears throat> never reads right for signals. I hear everybody fine. Um, they're not really hard to copy. It just like physically appears like the meter is reading incorrectly. Um, I've been through the alignment uh, service manual, and I've done an alignment on it like a year ago. And I made some adjustments. This radio, when it came to me, it did not work. Um, there was a bunch of cold solder joints on the control board. Somebody else had tried to um, remove the, the the header pins that go on the pins that go to the back of the board, and they actually took like the white connector apart and and soldered the the connector to the pins. But the problem was the pins were broken on the back side of the board. It wasn't the actual connections that were the problem. Is where the, the, the header was soldered. So uh, they did this to like two or three of the connectors, um, which really looks nasty. Um, I would guess I probably what I need to do is either try and find one of those connectors and just, you know, redo everything. Um, uh, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Anyway, the radio's got some kind of issues. It also um, wasn't really able to align it on the power. It was putting out too much power. It was putting out 150 watts. And so there's some things that indicate something's wrong. I had jumpered the, uh, uh, I think, I don't know if it was the attenuator relays or whatever. Um, but what I noticed after reading something a few days ago was that they were talking about um, the path that the signal comes into the radio on receive and um, apparently the marker is injected after all of the relays and the um, transverter and all that. So it shouldn't be affected by any of that stuff. And so I would think you should be getting a uh, 20 over signal or S9 signal with the marker. Well, we're not. So there's the marker. I don't know where I'm at. The attenuator does seem to affect the signal. There's no real indication on the meter. But if we go down... You'll see it gets louder on certain bands. This is what somebody had suggested to do. Pretty loud on five megahertz. And I'm not sure the uh, the marker is where it should be either. So that's seven on this band. And the attenuator knocks it down. But I thought that they're saying the injector, the injector, the marker is injected after all that, but that can't be true. We can see the AGC. doing its thing. Um, one other thing I noticed too 
is that this filter button doesn't do anything in sideband and I'm pretty sure this thing has all the filters and it only seems to operate on CW let's see if we can actually pick this up on CW should be able to right why am I not hearing it if the marker is on there I mean Weird. Anyway, um... So, let's go back up. So we have S, S, S7 on 160. And maybe if we just actually... I don't want to step through every frequency. We have S7 on... Uh... 80. Three or four on forty. Nothing on there. Five or six on twenty. Same on eighteen. A little bit on ten. Upper part of ten. Nothing. So I'm not sure if maybe it's actually a uh, issue in the receiver itself. Um, so this is really a heavy radio to be wrestling around on the bench, and you need a lot of room. I gotta I moved all that all over there, but um, really I need to find a new place to put the uh, the 710 where I can like comfortably operate it and I guess the biggest problem is I have this amplifier here but it needs to be there because it's got to be able to breathe and I can't put it down on the lower shelves um, and also I, I use the, the peak reading RMS meter on the amp so anyway I'm trying to get this thing going um, I know a lot of you guys have on here have owned these maybe leave a comment down below if you have any idea what it might be um, but I've been in this thing a lot, and I just haven't touched it in about a year because I kind of got to the point where I couldn't really figure out exactly what was wrong with it. 